Hey, hi guys. I debated and debated whether to make a little video about this bill, but I decided there's a stuff here and there. Um, I'm going to build a little ZVS driver. ZVS ZVS. Zero voltage switching. Italian invention, I think, or design. Uh, I've, I've got some parts. This is a, these are cooker. These actually come off, you, know, you can buy them from China, these ZVS drivers. Uh, they're cooker, non inductive capacitors. This one, the case got damaged, but I have done the checks on it, it's still okay. Uh, but I've got a couple of these as well to give these a go. Uh, they're higher. No, they're not. They're uh, slightly 470 uh, nanofarads and 600 volts. Where these are, I think it's 1200 volts AC or DC, and then 600 volts AC. Resistors, resistors, 12 volt diodes, of course, an inductor. This one is 90 millihenries. And from what I understand, anything between 40 and 200 is good. Um, yeah, I'm going to actually build it onto this board. Uh, this is where my these two prongs for the Jacob's ladder normally go, and I'll just move those down a bit so I can fit the fly back here. And yeah, we'll give it a go. I don't think I'm going to do the build recording it. I think what I'm going to do is just move the stuff out of the way and just get on and build it, um, and then put it on put on the video for the test and see how it goes okay. <coughs> all right hey so well I've built it let me just turn this extractor on quiet things down a bit uh, I built it uh, this is basically off a um, design you find on the internet uh, schematic you find on the internet and it seems to be the basic uh, sort of like 10 amp ZVS driver zero voltage switching circuit uh, so all we gotta do now is sort of like stick a flyback on there give it some power and see if this baby actually works um, I hope I've got this right you know, I've looked at the schematic a few times. I hope I got it right. I've been drinking since I started doing it, so now I know. You shouldn't, hey kids, any kids watching, don't be messing about with electricity and such. And drink because uh, that's when you, you know, you're an idiot like me. You end up having some sort of problems or touch wood, nothing so far. But yeah so i hope it's okay i think i've got it right it looks sort of okay as long as i've got this uh gate uh drain and source thing the right way around yeah 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 it should be all right <laughs> i got my uh, my power coming into the gate it's got this little zeno diode thing that's sort of like it's like a voltage latching system which comes off to the side of the gate uh, and then the drains going out via the capacitor uh, yeah drains going out to the why we'll plug into here will be the coils uh, which then go on to the, the flyback you know coil line of flyback um, and then the, 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 the source um, pins which goes off to negative Th this is not color coded as such I mean it maybe sort of but this isn't because it's just I uh, had run out of I wasn't going to keep cutting up this uh, this brown wire just to put some some color coded type thing on there anyway Pardon me. Uh, 
really don't think I'm going to power this right now. I think what I want to do is uh, actually look at it again in the morning. <laughs> when, when I stop this, I'm going to go and play on my game now for a little while. Put myself to bed. Um, so I'll check it again in the morning and then we'll chuck some power through it if everything's okay. And see what it does. Bye, y'all. Okay, so right, well, I built this thing up, and um, it gave me an indication on the power supply that it was just shorting out. So I've taken it apart. Uh, well, I've, I've not taken it all completely apart. I'm now. This is the bit of an electronics switch. Although it's nice to have, you know, success. This is. This is what we play for. Troubleshoot. Troubleshoot. So now what I gotta do is figure out why this thing doesn't work. I've looked over the circuit, I've looked over it and over it and over it. Unless I'm missing something. I've got a component down. Oh, I don't know if it's these diodes. I don't know, but this is it now. This is the, the fun part, the troubleshooting. I don't know how long this is going to take me, how many times I'm going to go back to the circuits, how many times I'm going to look at different circuits just to double check this. And I've already noticed a difference on one circuit to this being exactly the same thing as that the, the resistors are the other way around, but it would make no difference where they are. Uh, I don't think. Maybe what I need to do is check that. Being that the resistors, instead of being here, are higher up. And there's a definite, you know, if we could split it up, there'd be a resistor here and the Xena diode here on the other circuit. Same as on this side. The resistor would be higher up and the Xena diode below. I really don't know, but putting this on the putting these uh, MOSFETs on the meter, they're fine. Powering up, um, it's just drawing full current, like it's shorting, like it's doing something naughty. So, I'll have to just keep cracking on it and start recording when I've got something new, like at least these plugged back in. And the circuit moves back down because that's how it wants to be. It's going to be easy enough to uh, put back together. I just got to find out. Let's drag. This is the fun part. This is the bit which is the challenge, and this is the bit that I like. So, I'll be back in a bit. Okay. Well, I was doing a bit of faffing about. We got uh, this little baby here, and it's testing this diode as a uh, unknown part, damage to unknown part. Now, if I test the other diode, uh, what I expect on pin two here is going to be the cathode, it's going to be the anodes, and I expect to see that this diode. is a worker and as you can see by that it's indicating it's a worker which is good so what's this for this is the gate on on this transistor you pull down to ground and this one isn't going to get pulled down to ground because I should just be able to check this like this and come up with a diode the same as what I can there, but it doesn't. Oh, yeah, pig, come here. The lowly of it has a damaged or unknown part. So, oh no, shit. It's not, it's working. <laughs> it can't be picking up from there, that resistance there. Uh, nope. Uh, okay. Number one is on the on the cover on the anode. Should that 
this as well. <laughs> uh, there's no way I can have this do this from over here, can I? No, I could. Does it gives a readout there as well? Okay, well that's what I didn't want. That means I've got to take these out of the circuit to do it. What a pain in the ass. Oh, I was hoping I just found a diode. But that doesn't prove nothing because I can do the same test from here to here and load the cathode in it. Everything comes up as a diode, which is. Uh, never mind. Let's try again. Hey guys, uh, just a little bit of a continuation. Now, when I first tested this out, when I when I when I built it, I ended up taking it all apart. Well, not all apart. I took the, um, the MOSFETs out to check see if they're okay because uh, it it didn't work, um, and it almost it looked like it was shorting. And so I thought, oh wow, so I must have damaged the MOSFET or something, or of course something else the damage, and it's shown up as a short. So I took the I took the MOSFETs off. I checked them; they were fine. So then I checked the diodes; they were fine. Checked the resistors; I checked the inductors. I noticed that this connection here was giving me a bit of resistance, so I re resoldered that. And I know it doesn't look uh, it looks <laughs> a little bit more messy than what it did, and it still didn't work. And so I was a little bit concerned. But after finishing work today, I've come back and. I noticed looking at it from this angle I could see that my wire um, it was connected but I think it was it wasn't connected inside correctly because even though look, I, I'm, I'm putting this through my good power supply at the minute which I really don't want to do it's on 12 volt I'm giving it a maximum of 3 amps uh, and I'm just going to flick it on but look we got I don't know if you can see that particularly that well there we go, look. Nothing special, nothing to write hang about. But like I say, that's, that's, that, it's, it's just, uh, I just wanted to test the circuit, see if it works. Uh, and it does work. I know I need a bit more capacitance, they're on the way. That's only a, a 330 narrow, I need a 680 really. Um, but the capacitors are on the way. Um, but everything else should be good. Everything else should be good. And I did run it for a few minutes. Um, I did like a bit of a heat test, and everything's cold. That's fine. But like I said, it's only three amps. My other power supply at the minute is playing up again. I've had nothing but problems with it since I first bought it, connections and all sorts. But I'll take it apart again in a bit, sort that out, and I'll come back with some uh, with some ten amp action, or at least you know we'll give it a bit more uh, voltage and, uh, and a bit more um, a bit more ampage. But just as the uh, as my first CVS with using MOSFETs it works and I'm chuffed to punch absolutely chuffed to punch it's a little tiny for now but we'll get there we'll get there this baby's got enough potential about it to give out some nice art so so yeah next video I'll have that power spot fixed and um, <laughs> I don't know everything I buy I seem to have to fix yeah, this is a this is a new thing I got today. Uh, 4.5 volt to 40 volts, and it gives me five volts and, and two amps on the output maximum. But that's brilliant because I've got quite a lot of these things I have to plug in, you know, to one to my phone charger. I got my music player, I got my my clocks, and I've got other ones on build, and I've got all sorts of stuff I need five amp supply for. And this is great. It's um, it's reading the indication of, of the supply at 9 volts, it's saying, uh, it says 8.6 there, it says 8.6 there, uh, and that seems to be quite good, I'm just waiting for my phone to drop a bit more on charge and I'll, uh, I'll chuck that in and see how quick it will charge my phone up, this is 1.5 amps at 5 volts and this is 2 amps at 5 volts, so I'm hoping for a little bit more quickness there, you can actually turn the power off on this which is pretty awesome um, and that there is to uh, that, that that button there switches off the entire thing and then this one just turns off the power output 
So you've still got the power going in and the indication that that power is going in, I think, it, which is really, really handy. Um, but you've just, and you, you can just turn off the output going out because that's a little output light indicator there. Fantastic. It's been a good day today. A couple of these are turned up and this is working. No smoke, no nothing. It's working and I'm well chuffed. Uh, cheers for watching, catching a bit.